probably unnecessary, and this avoids it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, hopefully solving some problems there. So check that out. That's uh, seven shifts. The number seven shifts dot com. All right. So uh, my awesome thing is uh, a little late to the game. I'll admit it. Chilla, you're probably laughing at me because I'm just kind of discovering this. Thing. No, no, no. Well, actually, and this, this is something that takes a while, I think, to finally pull the trigger on. So I don't. Yeah, I don't and decide that's the thing that works for you, right? Um, so Plex. Yeah, that thing Plex that apparently every cord cutter is already using except me. Um, so, so I, I, I've been iffy on, you know, because I, 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 you know, I have Netflix, Hulu. I haven't really been distracted, but then meanwhile, I have. So many DVDs that have been just collecting dust this whole time. And it has literally been... The only DVD player I have in my living room is my Xbox 360. And that drive mm-hmm. doesn't open sometimes. <laughs> so most of the games I play, I either put a game in, and it's in there for like six months until I finish the game. Like I just finished Assassin's Creed 3, and then I put Halo 4 in. Um, or and, and everything else has been digital that I've been playing. So so it's like, oh, I really want to watch that movie. Man, I wish I could just like kick that over to my iPad or something while I'm working... You know, up at work hard or, or up, a, you know, or, or at the coffee shop or something, you know, just to put that on in the background, you know, because I'm not always in the because I only use the office here when I'm doing DVD production, mm-hmm. uh, which is less and less these days. And and I got like that first gen Roku on there and I, and I use that. But but again, I like I'm going through and magically rediscovering movies I own that I haven't watched in forever and just uh, just becoming more accessible. And yeah, they're not HD. And I notice it sometimes, you know, mm-hmm. I see the compression a little bit, you know, from handbrake and uh, and uh, but 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 still have that accessibility. I watched V for Vendetta the other night. I haven't watched that movie in years. <laughs> it's a great movie and really kind of applicable to some things happening these days. I think um, I recommend it. Uh, but uh, but, you know, the, a really cool thing. And, 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 and as I'm going, I'm kind of going ahead and dumping those into Plex. I've also been uh, kind of poking around at an app called Unify. Uh, y O U N I F I. You can check okay. out. Uh, it's been actually advertised on the Twit Network recently. Is where I first heard about it. It's a free app, and and you can like see your files and pull it up on your iPhone or an iPad. Uh, so I'm just using the free version of Plex, and and here it is a little bit right now. Like, see, I got a little bit of a. Uh, sometimes, it, so they're filling in a lot of the uh, information here. Like, you know, we got nice posters for V for Vendetta and Max Payne on here, but we noticed uh, something went a little weird with this Resident Evil because it was a double disc pack and I didn't rename the, the second movie on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's just got some weird, you know, clip from, from the middle of it, but generally, and even the wrestling stuff, because there's nothing going to be in there, but you know, my star, star Wars DVDs are tossed in there and, and they all, um, uh, transformers is actually the transformers from 1985, not 2007, <laughs> Michael Bay. Um, <laughs> You know, things cool. like that. Things like that. And, and, and like, like, why do I own Snake Eyes? I can't remember. Uh, you know, and also discovering a little bit of yourself. Like, why did I buy this in some of these I'd just cases? like to tell you my uncle was in Snake Eyes. Was in Snake Eyes. He was like an extra in a casino scene. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, other thing. Uh, Small world. Why do I own Spy Kids? I, like, where did I get Spy Kids from? <laughs> <laughs> where is that in my collection uh but but no it, 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 so so and i'm not paying for it. It, it you know they do have the premium edition but i think they've recently kind of let a lot of their apps go free lately a lot of their apps used to cost money um i think they they kind of released those free they have a subscription model where right. you can get a lot of stuff when remote which sounds like a pretty if you're i could see if you were someone who traveled a lot i could see that whole right. mobility thing being huge and i'm kind of wondering if that unify app is going to solve that problem for me in the meantime um because it's always been i've I've always thrown this batch of movies i've had and uh on a you know a lesser computer sitting somewhere Mm -hmm. and it's always been i go to use it and there's not enough horsepower like i had you remember play on was something that would Mm -hmm. take like hulu and throw it to my tv yeah somehow um and then nothing. We always get choked up because I'm always kind of have a lesser computer. I got a 2011 Mac Mini sitting upstairs that really just kind of hosting all my files and doing the backup cycles and everything. And sometimes I'll throw a process at it. Uh, but uh, but but now it's doing this and everything was smooth. I didn't I didn't notice a single hiccup probably the entire time entire weekend. And we watched at least like six movies. It's usually it's usually pretty good as long as the client that you're going to has native support for the format 
Okay. So when I say that, so so Plex will actually transcode on the fly. So if you actually decided, hey, I'm going to encode all these files in we- Windows Media format, but then I'm going to play <laughs> them back on an Apple TV. Yeah. Um, it has to transcode it on the fly to MPEG. So there's going to be a lot more going on. Meanwhile, so, I've already made these M4Vs because right. I handbrake off of my own <clears throat> that I own DVDs. Um, which which that's a pretty good standard and should should work for anything. Right. I think where Plex really also shines is when you have say you've been doing this for an extremely long time and you did have various formats and various devices that maybe some of them didn't handle MPEG so it had to transcode for those devices I think that's where it really pegs your processor Mm -hmm. but pretty much all you're doing is here's the file let's throw it across the network right so it's so and, you and, should rarely see any kind of. And these days, it's a, it's a it's a wireless end network, um, you know, and pretty much gigabit as far as the 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 the, the you know the wires themselves. I mean, there, there's just plenty, plenty, plenty bandwidth to go around to throw this to um, apparently to my phone and uh, my phone or my laptop, and then I can Chromecast it from mm-hmm. there. That was, I think, that's the big <clears throat> turnaround, and that's what sold me because. Again, you know, we talk about barriers in a lot of ways. That's the barrier to do this thing. I got a computer sitting up there that, like, I can throw this at this. So why aren't you just using the Xbox app? I haven't loaded it. Um, why am I not using the, the, the oh, you know why I'm not using the, the, the Amazon Fire app? Because it's a yeah. pain in the butt to log in. And every time I go do it, it's just like, I don't feel like doing okay. this right now. Like, like it, it really is. It, um, there's, a, there's another app that keeps wanting me, wanting me to do a Facebook login. So it pops up a browser window like Android, like in the middle of my, because Fire TV is an Android device, mm-hmm. right? And it just doesn't work for some reason. Hmm. And then I just give up and I don't use the app, right? And it kind of depends on where you're at. If you want to sit down and set it up, I sat down and sat this up and we're good to go. And I didn't realize all the movies that are on my hard drive. <laughs> before <laughs> and then and then again going through my dvds i didn't realize all the movies that i have i'm surprised how many movies are in here that i have on dvd that were already in here and i don't know what i did you know um but but again it's, it's pretty cool to do that um there are also and i don't know how relevant these are anymore but there you can also throw apps on this like i noticed there's a usa network app on here um, there's, you know, you know, stuff that I've used. I can't, I don't even know if I can find this. <laughs> in case you want to watch, uh, <laughs> like reruns. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say in case you want to watch like, uh, the Shawshank Redemption <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> well, that's what I wonder because actually uh, I'm curious cause well, you know, I, 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 I've been using the USA app to watch like Monday night raw. Um, oh, okay. Because See, sorry, not the pro wrestling thing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it only works. But it only works on the iOS apps for it, USA Now for some reason. And so oh. I don't have anything that's going to throw it to my TV. And I've lo- long lost my uh, HDMI adapter for my for the iPad three. Right. I think I, I I misplaced it when it stopped working on like the original iPad for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, so 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 I need I need some kind of solution there. Or maybe if I had an Apple TV or something, I could throw it via that. You know, just, so cause I've just I've been watching Raw the last couple weeks just on my iPad sitting there on the coffee table. And that's it. You know, um, but it's been smooth and it's been OK. And I'm not I'm not pirating at that point. So and that was I mean, I'll be completely honest. That was the last thing. I was not doing legally was <laughs> was watching Monday Night Raw because I'm like, well, I'm paying for Hulu. I could watch it the next morning or I could dial up this site and watch it. Um, and yeah, let's be honest, a lot of people with sports, they're dealing with that kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, to, to try to work around it because there's no viable option, you know. Uh, USA is not on Sling TV, for instance. Although I'm this close to trying out at least the trial Sling TV because Lucha Underground is on there. So that's that's and I, and I know actually Bobby F J Town from Wrestling Mayhem Show he did a Sling TV trial just to watch the season premiere of Lucha Underground. So that's well, that works. They're getting those interesting networks like El Rey um, on there. So it's an option. Um, so again, this is kind of the first weekend with this. Again, I have a lot of DVDs to go to stick in here, um, and eventually I'm going to have to figure out like how do I redo like if it's kind of mislabeled certain things. Um, I, I'm finding the information, but it doesn't look like it's everything. That, but I probably have to do it on the computer um, that they start at. So, uh, so it's Plex, Plex.tv. If you want to check it out, you basically kind of download a server software that's free onto the computer where all your movies are going to be sitting on, 
And then um, you're able to just kind of go to Plex TV, log in. And if you're on the network, it works. Mm -hmm. So in-house, it works. Again, if you're traveling or if you want to have your movies at the office, it's a little bit of a different story. But it's working great. Handbrake, I recommend that. You might have to do... Oh, this is the thing that hung me up. Here's a little tip. Um, El Capitan broke handbrake. It did. I've used it numerous times. Right. Um, some, something happened. And, uh, well, for the... Um, I did download the 64-bit edition, but right. But maybe that's it. Maybe I grabbed the wrong version too. But you have to get in ter terminal, download Homebrew, and and it have it install that um, the decoder. Okay. Because you don't have to grab that extra file if you're mm -hmm. if you're like decoding like bot DVDs. Um, just do kind of a quick search for El Capitan broke handbrake, and you'll find uh, a Reddit article that has that code, and um, uh, it's on the Mac. So um, I couldn't get it working on Windows XP, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think I'm not in, in, un installing. Uh, I'm trying to put it on every computer available to me so I can get through all these DVDs quicker, basically. <laughs> so I have two Macs going right now, and I just switch the DVDs whenever I walk downstairs or up into the studio, up into the office, and just like, okay, next one, okay, next one, and just kind of get. That's why you see these various stacks kind of going on down here as I go. Uh, so it's going to get very interesting here very soon. Uh, side note. I need to apparently get a DVD or a Blu-ray player because I don't have one and I'd like to rip those as well. So they're HD, but, um, like I can probably help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a really good, um, what's his name? Uh, from Mac break. I am the Anako. He did yeah. a really good kind of run down on how to, do all that and actually recommended like a $23 Blu-ray. So, because that's usually what I get or for your Mac. That's what I get for my Macs or like the $20 one. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was really surprised because we just picked we got a Mac mini at the one job I was working in, and, and, uh, I was like, yeah, you need, and then and they're like, we got the Mac mini in. And then that week he says, Hey, can you rip this DVD for me to have? Cause they like to have all the, again, have their DVDs in one place so the little students can have them, uh, to watch when they, when they bring them through. And uh, instead of having to deal with a DVD player, because who has a DVD player, he hands it to me and I look over and I'm like, oh, right. I need a DVD player. Like there's always that right <laughs> after you buy it, Mac. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. That's that's not a thing we do anymore. Um, but I got 20 bucks. And it was this really slick Samsung one for that one. Mm -hmm. So just go on Amazon. Um, I just started investigating it. I didn't know if Handbrake handles that as well. Uh, I presumed it does. So I'll have to investigate that a little bit, too. So that's my long plex. Uh, Unify. U U Unify or Unify app? It's both. I've got a question here. Um, it's an app on your phone, and then it's a program you download. And I think you spelled it right. Uh, U as in you, the person, Nify. And, uh, and it should work. Kind of like a greenish uh, icon over there. 